Surgery has been performed since prehistoric times. Trepanation was a commonly performed surgery. It involved drilling or scraping a hole in the skull to relieve pressure on the brain. Later, surgery developed to an advanced degree in Egypt, India, the Arab world and China. In Europe, the most common operations were wound dressings and amputations, especially for soldiers or sailors hurt in battle. Early surgeons focused on speed to minimise pain. They could remove a leg in a few minutes, hopefully the right one. There were three main dangers associated with all surgery. Pain, bleeding and infection. Surgery without anaesthetic could involve unimaginable pain and the shock alone could kill some patients. Bleeding was another ever-present danger. Patients could very easily bleed to death very quickly on the operating table. There was also the risk of infection. Blood poisoning and gangrene were both common outcomes of surgery. These hazards were gradually reduced. But even in the late 19th century, going under the knife was always a very risky business, as the case of the 20th President of the United States, James Garfield, demonstrates. 